Well, good morning. It's good to see each and every one of you in the house of the Lord here today as we come to celebrate and worship our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I know there are some of you that are here today that are visiting and some of you for the very first time. And we are certainly glad that you're here today. Uh, Some of you are visiting today because of the baby dedication, and we're glad that you're here today. And so we're going to get to that in just a few moments. But uh, thank you for being in God's house today, and thank you for blessing us with your presence. And if you are here for the very first time, I hope that you got a visitor's packet when you came in from one of the ushers. Uh, If you would, please fill out that card that's there in that packet and uh, place it in the offering plate in a few moments when it comes around so we can have a record of your visit. And Rocky Hill family, please look around and make sure that you welcome our visitors today and let them know that you're glad that they are here. Are you glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning? Well, let's stand up and just greet each other for a moment and uh, and welcome our visitors. Well, we have a very busy day and a a busy week this week, so please keep in mind all the things that are happening. Uh, Just to mention, uh, of course, today is the Vacation Bible School Clinic here beginning at 3 o'clock this afternoon and going to 530. So if you are helping with that clinic, make sure you're here. Or if you are uh, maybe not specifically helping with the clinic today, but you're teaching in Vacation Bible School this year, please make every effort to be here this afternoon for the clinic. Uh, right now, it looks like we have well over 100 people are going to be in attendance for the clinic, and we're excited about that. Kathy has worked hard and done a marvelous job getting this together. Let's tell her thank you. Amen. And uh, we're looking forward to, to that this afternoon. And uh, it's kind of like a one-day Bible school. If you come by this afternoon, you'll see it all decorated up just about like it would be for Vacation Bible School Week. So it takes a lot of work to do this. And we want to thank each and every one that's uh, worked so hard and so diligently to help put this together for this afternoon. Uh, then tonight at 6 o'clock, we will still have youth drama practice, and our evening services will go on as scheduled this evening. Also, today's the last day to order Easter lilies, so if you haven't done that yet and wish to do that, please see Kathy today for that. Uh, we had 167 in Sunday school, so thanks to all those that were here for Sunday school this morning. And next Sunday, of course, is Easter Sunday. And don't forget the special schedule, uh, sunrise service at 6.30, breakfast at uh, 7, I believe. Yes, if I can read here. 8 o'clock Sunday school and 9 o'clock for the worship service. So if you come at 11 next Sunday morning, you're going to go, what happened to those Baptists? Well, we met early and had service. Uh, so, But uh, keep in mind the special schedule for next Sunday. Uh, there is some help needed for the breakfast. So if you could see uh, Miss Ann. Uh, or Miss Patty, or or Mr. Barry, Uh, just see somebody. (laughs) Uh, If you'll see Barry about that, uh, he needs, uh, he has some sausage and biscuits he needs some help with, I believe. So see him after the service today, and and, uh, he'll be glad to have your help in that endeavor. So I don't want to delay any longer the service, but those are some important things. Also keep in mind that next Sunday is the last Sunday for our Annie Armstrong Easter offering, and we'll have our missions march for that offering next Sunday morning. So ask God to show you what he would have you do to participate in that offering next Sunday morning. Uh, so thank you for your attention and all of those things. We have a thank you card this morning from Brad McClellan's family. It says, Dear friends of Rocky Hill, God gives us so many wonderful things to be thankful for, especially the kindness and thoughtfulness of wonderful people like you. 
Thank you so much for all the prayers you have prayed. Thank you for all your hard work, support, and gifts for the fundraiser. My family and I appreciate everything you have done. God bless each and every one of you, Brad McClellan and family. And, of course, we want to continue to pray God's blessings on them. Uh, At last I heard, it was over $9,700, I believe, that we raised for Brad and his family. That's awesome, and we praise God for that. We have many this morning that are on our prayer list and that need our prayers today. Uh, A couple of uh, things that had come to my attention. Stephen Clanton has taken a little bit of a turn for the worse and found out some things. So I just wanted to mention him especially this morning. Uh, that we would lift him up especially today. And I know there are many others. Uh, Brother Howard Shoemaker is still in the hospital. We want to pray for him. And there's just many, many needs in our church family. But, you know, our God is a great God. Amen. And he is here for us, and he is here to meet the needs. And every time I think about the needs in our church family, I look around and I see the miracles sitting in this place. And I rejoice, and it reminds me of God's goodness and God's faithfulness and how he will provide for us in so many different ways. So let's stand together and join hands this morning as we go to the Lord in prayer. And Teresa is in the hospital this morning, and thank you for reminding me of that. So just be uh, praying for her. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you're such an awesome God. And you're so good to us. You're so real and you're so dear and you're so near to us. Especially in those times when we experience difficult circumstances. But Lord, as we begin this service today, as we enter into a more worshipful time now, Lord, we just want to praise you. We just want to give honor and glory to you. You're worthy of our praise. You're worthy of honor. You're worthy of glory. And Father, we praise you this morning for the awesomeness, for the power, for the majesty. But most of all, just because you are God and we love you. Father, we thank you for your love for us and for how you express that love to us in so many different ways. We thank you, Lord, that even in our times of difficulty, you are right there with us. You never leave us. You never forsake us. You watch over us. You take care of us. You provide for us. And, Father, as we come this morning, we want to lift up the needs of our church family to you this day.